think about the war. I don't dwell on the experiments I took part in. Dodgy accents, invisible fascists and big-ass guns. The original Nazi-killing supernatural first-person shooter is back. Wolfenstein is out now on Xbox, PS3 and PC, but is it another cult classic or a disgrace to the dynasty? You play as American agent BJ Blaskovitz on an inglorious romp through Nazi Germany in World War II. The limited locations of streets and bases are nicely drawn and easy to navigate, while weapons and explosions look and feel spot on. Gameplay-wise, it feels very much like Call of Duty World at War, a tried and tested first-person shooter control system with little to get used to, making the game a great pick-up-and-play experience, but nothing very new. The added twist with Wolfenstein is the supernatural element, which adds sci-fi weaponry and magic powers. These might slow down time, protect you, or in the case of the Veil site, reveal alternate routes and hidden locations. It's a satisfying added dimension that makes you feel like a heavily armed Indiana Jones, and killing Nazis is more fun when you can melt their faces off with supernatural firepower. It's undoubtedly an enjoyable experience, but Wolfenstein is nowhere near as groundbreaking as its progenitor. While other first-person shooters owe so much to Wolfenstein 3D, the new title owes much to games made since. Still, it's a satisfying shooting experience, if a little safe and standard. A supernatural Call of Duty is no bad comparison, and I'd be amazed if you didn't enjoy it. But for those that want their games to break the mould and raise the barrier, you're going to have to wait for the year's bigger releases.